stock up. Oh, whoops. Didn't need to do that. Uh, oh, darn it. Shot way too soon. Alright, that's one. Two. This is way easier than the sword. Three. Oh, right, I still need the um, uh, slingshot. Actually. Yeah, so the, so the effect of the seat is random for every enemy. It's not a specific one. I'm kind of okay with that. So which means that this will... Actually, just use the gale ones. And out of there. I'll probably just use the gale seeds more often, but at the same time, they're also what I need for fast traveling. On the other hand, though, it does take care of these enemies really quickly. Except for this guy. Ah, oh, damn it. Good, got a good hit in. Damn it. Too soon. I wouldn't like to hope for good random effects. I I wouldn't either, but sometimes you can be just desperate enough for it for that sort of stuff. Alright, just three more hearts, please. I like the seeds. Actually, I don't even know what Pegasus seeds will do to enemies. Someone I might try later. Oh, this is... <laughs> and this isn't a bad thing at all. Okay. There's no treasure chest here, so I think it's just um, uh, get to the other side. Alright, Th this is where I'm going to get my ass kicked a lot. Because this one kicked my ass a lot, yeah. Goma. What you have to do is, when its eyes open, shoot it in the eye. Pretty simple stuff. Problem is, though, that giant crab claw is not for show. And, like, this is why I've got the rocks feather on, so I can dodge its attacks a bit better. Yeah, see? Alright, come on. Oh. That's the thing a streamer had problems with. I think a lot of people had problems with this one, which is weird because it's, it's Goma. It's like... Usually people don't have a problem with Goma, but this is one exception. Either way, I've definitely figured it out, and the Rock's Feather, definitely useful. I think you need to wait for him to raise his claw as well. Because I think his claw is also blocking your shots. Alright. Come on. Nice. Yeah, he's blocking the shots. I need to wait for him to raise his claw.
Oh, nearly. I don't know how many hits he's got left. I imagine the Ember Seeds would be the one doing the most damage because it's fire. But I've only got nine of them left. Alright. Oh, nearly. I didn't take a single hit from this guy. That was awesome. I thought I thought I was going to get utterly destroyed by him, but I guess it's because last time I didn't have the rocks feather. You got the soothing rain, an essence of nature, bathed in drops of soothing rain, shoots gr shoots grow into saplings. Okay, I think that was the easiest boss I've fought so far, except for the first one. But that, but this was definitely the only boss I faced where I didn't take a single hit. Oh, Tom, I too grown in my under the soothing rain. I had another vision just now. I saw a lake shaped like eyeglasses. That would be Eyeglass Lake. All right. So before we move on, I'm going to get back to that trading quest. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I guess the Gale Seeds would be the best one because it just instantly gets rid of them. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Well, at least I've got more. Is that game still on an 8-bit system? Uh, do you mean Oracle of Seasons or am I a different Zel or a different game altogether? I'm a. If you mean this game, like it is available on the 3DS Virtual Console, if that's what you mean. Look at Seasons. Yeah, it is on um, uh, I mean, it is on the 3DS Virtual Console. If you want to buy it off there, I think it's dead cheap as well. I've I haven't bought it yet, but I own the original cartridge, which is why I'm which is why I, I, I'm I'm emulating this since I don't have a means of recording games on a console. Oh, you mean if if it's programmed on an 8-bit system? I I don't know. Okay, so first step, I gotta get back to Goron's Mountain. Um, Maple, not now. I can't be asked to this. Actually, just in case you might have a magic potion, so it saves me from buying one from your shop. You don't, just rupees. I just realized I got my shovel out for this. Very rarely do I use my sword on the on the A button. Alright, slingshot. I get my slingshot ready for a lot of things, and then I need and then I need other things. All right, I know I'm going to need the rocks feather for this one. Yeah, I remember the um uh, rocks feather upgrade, which I'm looking forward to. I can't I can't remember if it I can't remember if it turns you jump into a glide or gives you a double jump. Back to the sunken city.
to give him uh, that jar, um, Ingo the jar. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm going to replace my sword with the slingshot for the time being. Some might disagree with that, but here's the thing. I'm, uh, because my... Because my sword, because my slingshot seems to take care of enemies quicker than my sword, I might as well just use that as my default weapon for the time being and just um uh, keep a distance. <sighs> All right, now to deliver that to the guy in Horon Village. Well, just outside of it still. Actually, I might as well sort the rings now, so now that I've got a few extras. Call this the quicksand ring. Moblin. Green joy ring. Find double ore chunks. Oh, I didn't have it equipped to begin with. <sighs> Actually, while I'm here, I'll grab the um, uh, I'll grab the treasure from the beach now. Which reminds me. Yeah, I've only got two left. One up in the mountains. Actually, someone want to check. Did I get the gaseous seeds around here? Yeah, it looks like it. So, so I at least don't have to go back for them. Let's try the Pegasus seeds out on them. I assume it I assume it doesn't do much, or it just does damage. Oh, it, it freezes them. I'll just stick with the Gale seeds. It's like <laughs> it gets rid of every enemy, so it's it's a lot less hassle. It's also from a distance, so I'm not likely to get hit. I've got three. I've only got three ember seeds left. Let's see if I can make the shot. I did it. <laughs> the black beast rests here. All right. I'm assuming I need the shovel. Oh great. I guess the sword is good for close range. Wait, what? The Black Beast rests here. Oh, let's try bombs. Oh, that was it. Mystery seeds. Oh, great.
Oh. I feel kind of silly for thinking that wasn't... For thinking that was going to be a lot worse than that. Now to talk to that guy, give him the fish. I feel so annoyed that I have to redo everything after I've already done it. It's been like the first hour, like a complete waste of time. Nothing I can do there. Alright. Back to the... Back to the mountains. I can also stock up on more gale seeds. Okay, this game is still a neighbor system game. Yeah. I imagine it would be since the Game Boy Color was essentially a handheld NES. Uh, yeah, alright. Must remember to go to those Gash Seeds locations later. Also, I kind of wish the um, mountain had a um, had a tree on it so I could teleport to there. Oh, right, I can't use my um, slingshot here. Actually, every Game Boy Color game is still an 8-bit game. Yeah... I would imagine. Oh wait, no, I need to go up there because it's I need to I need to make it spring. Also, not gonna lie, kinda wish I got in the slingshot sooner. But I guess Dungeon 4, that's still pretty soon. I'd say, well, around the halfway point, really. He didn't appreciate that. Alright, so this is where Talon is. I'm curious. No, nope. okay. I thought if I could, like, shoot the Gale Seed at the wall and then jump into the tornado. This is the maximum that can make out an 8 bit system. I. I want to say um, uh, Shantae was, uh, um, was the maximum they could do. Because, like. One thing um, uh, you should check out sometime with Shantae specifically is um, uh, the sprite animations. Because there's a, there's a hell of a lot of them. Alright. No magic potion. Save. Because I don't want anything stupid to happen. 
I'll take this, thank you. Alright, now I gotta take the wooden bird to um, uh, the guy in Horn Village. Pokemon's already reached the maximum. Yeah, but I'm um, a. Uh, well, the original Pokemon was actually like re really glitchy as well, and what wasn't that well built compared to others. Uh, not sure about gold, silver, and crystal, but like Shantae was one of the last um, uh, uh, Game Boy Color, um, Game Boy Color games. So imagine, and like just seeing all the um, uh, sprite works and movements of that, I imagine that one was one of the more was one of the ones that pushed the Game Boy Color to its limits. Uh, Gale Seat again. Gold Silver Crystal for the games is probably used every resource 8 bit could. Uh, I guess the. I guess if it, I don't really know much about this sort of stuff anyway. I don't really like go into um. Uh, sorry, I, I don't really um. Uh, um, look up those details. See, I don't often play Game Boy Game Boy games. I mean, for a while I've been streaming um uh, Oracle of Seasons and Pokemon Blue, but now that we finished um uh, Pokemon Blue, I'm a. Uh, we're going to be going back to um, uh, Final Fantasy VI. I guess since you haven't been here before, um, uh, Final Fantasy S um, I streamed Final Fantasy VI in the past, and I've beaten the game, but um, uh, we've just got the um, uh, post-game stuff to do. So I'm a oh the Steam version I've got, which is also the which is um, uh, pretty much the GBA remake. I'm a. Uh, we came on with an optional dungeon that, requ that requires your character levels to be like around the 80s, so I've been grinding up for that bit. I heard they couldn't bring everything into the game, so you had to cut a bit to make it. They just had someone who's really good at optimizing. Yeah, that would make sense. Alright. Alright. Now that I've gotten, now that I've gotten three of the four treasures, and I've got the slingshot, I'm gonna head back into Cuckoo Mountain real quick because the last treasure I need is here. I think I know where it is. So if I can get all four, then we can go to the ruins right away. And I'm not that far from there either. To be honest, I probably should have checked the map before I left the mountain. But I'm, uh, I didn't. Alright. Easy does it. There we go. I think it had more something to do with the space card than the, the 8 bit. Yeah. Again, I, I don't really look into this sort of stuff, so I can't really um uh, back you up on that. Right, yeah, change the season to spring. You didn't get me. Seriously, damn like likes. Right, yeah, sword blocks. Alright, so round here, I'd say. There we go. Right, I remember now. I am, uh... 
I went here, got the treasure and came back. If you're correct then, it can only save 256 things. That would make sense because I'm a, well, a 255 or 256 was a common number used in, used in a lot of 8-bit stuff because like that was like the limits. Alright. Yeah, all right. Oh wait, no. We're we don't have all four treasures. We're missing this one here. So where is that exactly? That's by the way is how Mr. Noah's born Pokemon. Yeah, I know. That one I know. Alright. So I gotta go around here. Actually, let me check out the temple real quick. Just one left. And if I can get access to this one right away, we're gonna be doing that temple now. Uh, looks like I need, just need to go all the way down. <laughs> 